Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I finally got my name changed as of like two months ago and I've been married over a year now. And basically I realized it is a process when you change your name, you've got to change everything that comes with it from the passport to the driver's license and so many other things in between. I thought I would share a quick and easy makeup tutorial specifically for those occasions when you're going to be in front of one of those annoying cameras and it's like one shot and that's it. So I'm going to show you some quick and easy tips and tricks and ways to sort of make that photo look as close to perfect as you can. Let's do this. Okay, so the first step is we are obviously not going to want a shiny looking driver's license picture. So we've got to put on a primer. I'm going to be using this one from Cover Effects. It's their mattifying primer that also has an anti acne treatment in it. I really love this one. I'm almost out of it. Um, so I need to stock up. So I don't know if it's because that time of the month is quickly creeping around the corner. So I'm noticing a lot more blemishes than usual. So I'm going to definitely go with a full coverage foundation. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's her magic foundation that also has SPF 15 in it. The shade is in number seven medium. Just make sure that you blend it nice and evenly because that would also be a nightmare is if your neck is a different color than your face. Okay, so I'm trying a new concealer today and I don't know if that's a good thing since I'm about to go take my driver's license pick, but it's worth a shot. Um, concealer from Benefit, it's called their Fake Up Concealer. I don't know what is up with that kind of name, but hopefully it doesn't make me look fake. Okay, I can get down with this. And then all these annoying blemishes. If you guys are like thinking, what blemishes? Oh, trust me. Oh, I got them with that same brush, or you can actually use a different brush. It's totally up to you. I'm just gonna blend it in. So now what we're gonna do is we are just going to set this in place. I'm gonna use my favorite Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, and I'm just going to blend in the translucent powder just underneath the eyes. The secret brightening powder, you guys, is my favorite ever. If they discontinued this product, I think I would die. Just because it's really light and it's really airy and the texture isn't very thick. And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to also use Laura Mercier, but this is her translucent face powder. It's a little bit different, a little different in texture, but it is a loose setting powder. Um, I've showed it so many times before on my channel, so I don't feel like I need to really give you a close-up look, but in case you're wondering, that's what it looks like. I'm just gonna grab that same Beauty Blender brush because I'm too lazy to get up and grab my other brush. And I'm just going to blend my T-zone area. That's really the area for me that gets sometimes a little oily. So for my cheeks, I'm actually gonna change it up today. I know I always use Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I need to give it a little rest. So instead, I'm gonna use a drugstore version. This is from Physicians Formula, and it's their Bronzer Booster. Dang, try saying that three times. Bronzer Booster, Bronzer Booster, Bronzer boost, Booster. Ah. So I'm going to grab my contouring brush from BH Cosmetics, suck in your cheeks and smile to find those lines. It's a really weird look, I know, and it's embarrassing. The first time I did it, I just started laughing, but it really helps, I promise. I like to add a little something something to my neck area just to make it look like it matches. And then just a little bit on my forehead. You don't have to overdo it. You just need to target those areas. Make sure you get the double chin area. The blush that I'm gonna be using is a new one that I recently got from MAC Cosmetics. This is in the shade called Pinch Me. I'm just going to add it literally to the end. I'm not gonna focus too much right here. I want this to be an open space. Just going to go back, blend it in. And then for my highlighter, I'm gonna be using, this is from Becca Cosmetics in Champagne Pop, and I love it. This brush that I'm using is from Pat McGrath Labs. It's the Buffer 003 brush. I would say go easy on the highlighter if you're, you know, getting your driver's license photo because 
like I said in photos, it can totally come off like you're looking a little sweaty. <laughs> so just try to take it a little easy. So for my eyebrows, I'm just gonna use the Great Lash Eyebrow Gel. I'm gonna keep the brows just really natural, but at the same time, make them look moisturized and healthy. So I'm using a new primer today. This is the MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Eye Base. And I've just gotta say, I like this one more than Painterly. That's the other MAC Cosmetics one I was using. So for my eyes, I'm gonna be using this Smashbox Shape Matters Eye Palette. I'm literally just gonna kind of mix all of these together. So I'm gonna start out at the crease. I'm gonna use shade Haze, H-A-Z-E, and I'm just going to apply it to the crease of my eye and kind of make sure I don't pass my eyebrow where it ends, stay kind of within that range. Sometimes in these driver's license photos, um, when you have like tons of eyeliner or a cat eye, it looks a little heavy. So the best thing that you can do is to just open up your eye with lighter shades around the eye. That's honestly one of the best tips that I can give you for this tutorial, because the eyes, it's where it's at, right? So I'm just going to add this lighter shade to my inner corner and center of my eyelid to open up that eye. So that same shade that I used in the crease, I'm just gonna apply it to my lower lash line right here, just at the corners, to make my eyes just appear a little bit longer and larger. To really define the outer corners of my eyes, I'm gonna grab this darker brown shade. It's like a shade darker than the top one that I used. And this is in, uh, that's not blackout. This is an earthy to the end of my eye. That's as far as I'm gonna go. I don't wanna go all the way across because you really just wanna define that area. So I'm gonna be using my Voluminous L'Oreal Mascara for my eyelashes. Just a few coats. I know sometimes we have a heavy hand and we just wanna apply so much mascara, but actually, Less is more sometimes for photos. And then for my lips, let me just wipe off any makeup residue and I'm gonna prep my lips for the first time actually. I'm using um, Max Prep and Prime uh, Lip Primer. So I'm just gonna apply that to my lips as a base. It feels so like smooth and velvety. It doesn't have a taste or a fragrance or anything like that in it. Okay, and the lip liner I'm using also from MAC called Spice, and it is kind of like a brown, great everyday lip liner. So I'm just going to keep it subtle and just outline my lips. It's totally up to you what lip color you wanna do, whether you wanna wear a red lip or a pink lip or a nude lip. I don't think it really matters in terms of lip color as long as you know your foundation and your eyes aren't like crazy over the top done. The one that I'm using is from Ciate, 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 I don't know. Ciate London, it's their liquid velvet matte lip color and this is, happens to be one of my favorite. It's called Wonderland. Okay. Well, there you go. Here is my really quick and easy driver's license makeup idea. As you can see, I kept the eyes, like I said, really simple. Kept the brows natural. And then we've got like this pretty little pink bold lip. Quickly before I go, I just wanna mention that when it comes to your hairstyle for um, you know taking a photo, don't do what I did in my last driver's license pic. I ended up putting my hair in a really high top knot bun and the way it came out on camera, it just looked like I had a really huge looking head. So keep the hair down as sleek as possible and if you're gonna rock the curly hair, I'm all for it, just make sure that you're face is not being completely shadowed by the curls and that you don't have any crazy flyaways. And then that should obviously help make your photo even better. So I hope that this tutorial was something that you guys enjoyed watching. Until next time, mwah, mwah. Now you go take that photo, girl. You got this.